welcome. To Bear and Yam program. Hit the likes up in the comment box. Let me know what you guys think about uh, the ongoing COVID uh, lockdown and the subsequent unlockdown situation. Give me your thoughts in the comment box, please. Man. Let's go. Let's go. Get your get your uh, get your thing caps on. Let's think. Let's try to brainstorm some ideas. We get out this bitch because this shit is really fucked up. We got so many thoughts. So many people out here uh, simping a white night. We gotta get rid of this shit, man. I'm done, man. I'm done. I'm sick of it, man. I'm not trying to take no more bullshit, bro. I'm not me, bro. Not me. It ain't me, fam. So yeah, man. Let's go. Let's get it, man. Let's talk about the next topic. Which one I want to talk about, man? Which one I want to talk about, man? The one I want to talk about today, man. It's going to be about uh, how women they always be trying, you know, be like, they just be like, 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 every time you be messing up, they be calling that shit out. You know, let's be saying some shit like, oh, struggling. You struggling today, huh? You struggling. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, why would you play Drake? Why would you play Drake? Are you hurt? Did somebody hurt you? Man, I'd be like, I would play that shit, man. Come on, man. What the fuck do you say, man? I'm just going like a Drake song. You can say that I'm hurt. Man, you must be out of your goddamn mind. You think I'm hurt, bro. I ain't hurt, bro. I just, I just know the truth. I just know the truth. The truth is that women, females, and you know, things, man, it's freaking always, always all, all over the place, bro. And they'd be thinking and be emotional, like, oh my god, I can't believe we got so busy. Oh, don't worry, I'm not usually like this. And they always be saying, I'm not usually like, they say like shit, like, bro. And it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, shoo, 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 shoo. you know, it's like, and it's like, they always say that kind of shit, like, they're not like that shit. And, then, and meanwhile, Chad Tyrone, Pookie, Ray Ray. Oh, but they all like that, yeah, bro. It's like, it's like, shoo, 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 shoo. And it's like, ting, 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 ting. And they'd be like, man, like, like, it's, it'd be like, I don't usually have this and so and so. Uh, but then, but, you know, and I know this. I know, I know slut. You can call me slut. I'm going to, you ain't going to treat me like nothing. But if a guy says, I want, I want you to treat me, she's like, you were gay. You, who hurt you? Uh, if you guys say, man, I don't want to do this, man, it must be just because the guy, you know, he doesn't really have, um, he doesn't really have a strong conviction and all the things that he finds in a relationship, uh, partner are things that have been kind of, uh, put into his mind by the, uh, the maternal superego, you know, the mom that's always watching, uh, and when you're with the dad growing up, you don't really do anything wrong. Everything you do is right, even if it's wrong. Like, um, one time I got into a fight, and my dad kind of pulled me off to the side. He said, you know, why did you do that, son? And I said, well, dad, he was threatening me, and he was calling me all kinds of names in Tagalog. And since I don't speak Ilocano, I had no choice but to, you know, use my Taekwondo skills and give him a, a foot in his mouth. Uh, because I couldn't speak the language of my ancestors, and I couldn't, I couldn't properly uh, express myself, so I had to, uh, I had to uh, lash out at him. And he said, "Well, son," he said, "Yeah, it's good, son. Be careful, son, because some things that you're going to have to learn how to fight uh, without using, you know, your limbs. You're going to have to, you're going to have to understand the mental uh, aspect of a fight, and you're going to have to stand the emotional part of fight." And you got to get all the holistic way of, of viewing things. And so, son, what you did is wrong, but see, son, it ain't you. You did some shit. You did some ninja shit that wasn't in your character to do, son. I understand about you, son. So that's why I just forgive you, son. See? I love you, son. But with the woman, or I say, say the female in the household, raising you growing up, it's like, Dylan, why are you... You always smoking weed in the house, Dylan. You been playing the game till three in the morning, Dylan. You ain't ever doing nothing right, Dylan. Why don't you do the chores? Why don't you just give me a gift for Mother's Day, Dylan? What you ain't doing? Why you smack me, man? And then the girlfriend too, because you can't be alone. And the girlfriend goes, Why don't you give me a gift for my birthday for the tenth of the one week anniversary? Why don't you give me a diamond ring and a Rolls Royce and Mercedes AMG? And why you ain't give me this shit for my birthday? And you didn't give me a birthday gift for my birthday. And my birthday, you give my birthday gift for my birthday. 
And you can understand how this is very confusing for a young man because he's used to understanding a, a role model of a father where he does nothing wrong and you know he even gets beat before he does shit so that um his, his parents you know try to get him to you know just just walk the right path but the whole negative reinforcement just gets people to uh rebel even more and they end up walking a very unrighteous path and a dirty path because their mom is kind of like um has created like a a space where they they're alone but they still feel uh, the presence but not in a um, not in a in a public way it's almost like a person can be extroverted but on the inside they're suffering deeply and they feel alone and, and uh, that feeling comes from a lack of uh, wanting a lack of being able to be alone which is something that a man uh, men have uh, have, have become accustomed to you know I think about uh, archaeology you know the the digs and the archaeology uh, finds they, they were in these mountains up in the northwestern United States and they and they, they are or Canada and they, they found this man this mountain man who was uh, for all intents and purposes so frozen in the mountain uh, you know, the mountaintop he's frozen in the mountaintop and he was all by himself he had like a cane and he was all by himself and he's uh, anytime they find women all the women are always, you know, huddled up with all the other, uh, the people in the village, the men, women, the men, children, and the young people, and the women, young men, and the women, children in the village. And so, the, 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 the thing that I wanted, the thing that I, that comes to mind, you know, when you look at that data, that science, you know, science, is men are designed to live and die alone. But when they're born, the one thing that, that they desperately need is that, that fatherly figure as a reference point in order to understand what the rest of their life's going to be like. So it's like the dad has to be a detached and, and has to love his son with the amount, with the, uh, with enough gumption that, you know, it c- carries on later into life. So you still feel your dad's wrath and you still feel your dad's love, uh, all the way into your late, uh, adulthood. And then, Perhaps you've you've gotten better at maintaining relationships by then, and you can start to build your 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 acquaintances and your affiliations in a you know mature, respectful manner. But um, that's gonna be long and short of it. But if you like the video, like the video. If you want to react, do so. Please uh, uh, go and watch my older videos. Upload content all the time, and uh, I'm sorry. For Talk to like a little bit like uh, blur together just is that like a long day at work and you say you know uh, it's just like the you know as always thank you for watching see you later if you catch you later uh, just 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 be good be good and um it's Baron Yam aka Red Pill Peddler aka Hold the Line aka Bitches Words Lights Bear y'all have a blessed evening peace out thank you A Town Down you know it's for show um and Psyche Soap man Subscribe to my channel, Psyche Soap. Subscribe to my channel, Psyche Soap.